right. And we're back. <sighs> All right. Let's do this. So we got to go kill seven spears. Ooh. All right. Time to get serious. We're not screwing around anymore. <laughs> he said overconfident in his abilities. We're just going to run by. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're just going to run by. I don't want to deal with those guys if I don't have to. Yeah, that's a good beginning. This suit's reach is insane. <laughs> oh, no time to rest. I wish my Sabimaru poisoned him immediately. It's rough having to go in for multiple like that. It might be worth... He doesn't really go in the air. Kinda does, but... Let's go with that. We are a smooth shinobi. We are an efficient shinobi.
Sorry, I just need to I need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> this just made me so happy. <laughs> ah. Anyway, that's what it's supposed to look like. He behaved like a professional. so insulted when I get shot, like... How do you not face me blade to blade? Okay. I don't remember. Did I get that eavesdrop? I guess we can always come back. So we're going to actually make our way over here. Um, this place is easy to forget about. Um, this is the well that we came out of when we were but a wee, a wee dead man. And this is our samurai friend. Oh, it truly stirs my soul. Beautiful, and yet somehow sad. As if it yearns, it calls for someone. Hey, who are you calling? <laughs> hey. Let me hear it one more time. Hey, you. What? <coughs> oh, my name is Jin Zaimon Kumano. My duty is to patrol the moat. Hmm. I've not seen you around before. Which clan are you? I cannot say. You cannot say, you say? Hmm. So you are a shinobi. I cannot <sighs> say. Your manners could use some work. No matter. If you are a shinobi, I won't press any further. <sighs> I relate to Jinzaimon real hard. <laughs> shinobi? Have you ever heard someone playing the shamisen around here? I followed the sound and it led me to this well. I have not. Oh, is that so? I thought since you're a shinobi you might know. I wonder who that melody calls to. I don't know why, but I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> ah, no, it's nothing. Please forget I ever spoke of it. Shinobi, have you? I followed the sound. It led me to this well. I have not. Oh, I thought since you're a sh I don't know what. Ah, yeah, no, we already got all that. So our boy here is hearing some beautiful music no one else can hear. Desperately trying to find it. And I... I get that. <laughs> I, I get you, Jin Simon. So, oh man. If you look over there, there's a guy. 
we're gonna we're gonna get close because I think he's got some stuff to say, but this is not the way to approach this battle. He said I'd find a cowardly wolf here. No sign of him, though. A broken and incompetent shinobi living in disgrace. I hope to see such a man for myself. But seems I'm out of luck. And if he truly cannot die, I'm sure I'll run into him at some point. Anyway, yeah, so... He's looking for us. Um, if you try to pass him, he'll just... Frickin' murder you. Um, if you attack him, he'll murder you. Um, and he's... He's part of the interior ministry. The people who are... Well, I, we'll find out more about them later. Anyway, they're... If you ever see those purple cloaks and whatnot, it's a kind of assassin. Um, if you paid attention to the environment and whatnot, you'll remember there's this big hole up here. And this is a handy thing. Because we're going to fight this dude assassin style. Yeah. And now we can move on. Yeah, those dudes, they move pretty quick. They're jumpy. They hit real hard. Some of those attacks have a lot of uh, combos, and they can really mess you up. They also tend to give prayer beads. So you want to find them whenever possible. Because you want those prayer beads. We are a very devout shinobi. Oh, yeah. This place. So at the bottom of this place is a demon. <sighs> There's a handful of uh, ghost types, I guess. Uh, spirit, spectral creatures. I don't know if you remember that uh, bit about the headless, that note we found. Um, this isn't a headless. This is a similar thing. Um, a Shishiman warrior. And they're... Arguably worse. I don't know. I guess it depends on your play style. Um, they. One, you need Divine Compete to fight them. You don't need it, but like doing it without it is, is a fool's errand. Um, they, you, they can't be damaged very well without it. Um, they also inflict a thing called terror. So, like poison or fire or whatnot, it builds up. But if you get terror uh it's an insta death it'll just it'll just kill you straight out so <laughs> all right first things first we're gonna want this so these umbrellas they block damage and this upgrade blocks terror damage fundamentally um so we're gonna throw that on You know, this I th will hurt them, but I don't think we'll have time to set it up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Normally, I would not fight this guy, but you know what? I'm feeling good. 
now that I'm proccing and aggroing everything. Um, I'm feeling weirdly confident. So I think we're going to go for it. A bulging coin purse, in case you need all the gold. We don't need gold for shit. We're old money, man. We already got everything we need. Alright, we're going to get this this idol, though. We're also... Sorry, we're also going to do one other thing. So normally we carry Akko sugar and divine confetti and oil and all this stuff. We're going to replace oil with a gourd. So you can get these gourds throughout the game from merchants. Um, they'll cure various status effects, right? So the green one does poison, the red one does burn and the purple one does terror and I almost never utilize these but every time you're fighting one of these guys having the purple gourd on is real handy um, so gourds twisted form formed with use of graveyards, corpse and battlefields and other forlorn places of death I'm hoping we don't need it, but on the off chance. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> I wasn't even watching the build of. Man, we really need to pay more attention to our health. So I want to rush this guy hard. Because when you don't, that's why we have that. He has a tendency to just, do, yeah, do stuff like that. We do our confetti. Heal ourselves up. Tank the Kamehameha wave. Pay attention to any terror that may be accumulating. Oh, man. That's just going to be hard to dodge. Hey! That didn't go so bad. So, I cannot stress this enough. Do not engage without divine confetti. I don't think there's anything cool down here for us on a, on a new game plus playthrough. But that guy won't ever come back. Obviously he's a mini boss. And he guards the movement to another side of the map, if I remember right. Oh. Grappling hook. So we'll come out over here. So I guess, I don't think I've, have I picked any of these up? Anyway, these uh, basically just let you pick certain things up 
at a higher rate. So items or spirit emblems, which is what we have for our shinobi prosthetics. Um, Fountainhead Wilder's Spartan Souls. Um, so when we kill people, we get we fill up those little red circles in the bottom um, that let us resurrect. This helps us get more resurrects, fundamentally. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. We've had better days. <sighs> this is Bite Down. Uh, it's a cyanide pill. Um, I've seen people use this really, really effectively. Basically, you right before you would die from an enemy, you kill yourself. And so it it does kill you, um, but it doesn't burn a res. It doesn't give you that black slash through your resurrects, so you can preserve it on the other end. Um, you got to be really good about it and sort of plan, but it can be useful. You might have imagined this guy doesn't just die. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. That's pacifying agent. It also relieves terror a little more slowly, but This guy. What are you doing here? Of all places. <sighs> ah, are you perhaps a shinobi? <laughs> That's right. Yep. I thought as much. Might you be willing to take on a favor for me? I am Dojun. I've been tasked with the preparation of a medical treatment using the rejuvenating water. I'll get to the point, my dear Shinobi. This is a letter I received from the Master. The particulars are contained within. Cool. Surgeon's Way letter. So, a warm blood stain letter from Dusak, version of the Abandoned Dungeons. Requires one tough man, preferably a strong samurai or a young large soldier as a member of the Tarot who must be delivered unharmed. My dear Shinobi. The details are in the document I gave you. Considering the nature of the information, I think you'd agree that the less we know about each other, the better. Yeah, fair enough. This is real creepy. Um, I guess a lot of people in this game are real creepy. So, he is a surgeon and doctor who's living in this creepy underground depths-like place, and he's asking us to bring a strong... Able body for ambiguous reasons. Um, we're not going to follow this dude's quest line super far. You can. Um, and you'll get something out of it and you'll learn more about the world. And it makes me sad, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, fun fact our guy up there, our samurai friend, he's one of the people that we could bring as a, uh, as a potential candidate. Um, I don't think that's the best way to finish that dude's storyline, personally. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go do other stuff. Like grapple hook back. I don't... Oh. 
So this is a red lump that you found this in this dungeon is a big deal. Um, red eyes, red lumps, versions of immortality, the resurrecting waters, all of that's um, part of of this. We'll uh, I'll explain a little bit when we get further in, but yeah, you can you can consume this thing. Um, <clears throat> the good news is you don't, you basically can't be stunned, so, you know, if an enemy hits you, it won't interrupt you, and, uh, but you can't resurrect. Um, I also believe, maybe you do more damage, I know red-eye enemies do more damage to you, I can't remember if you do more damage by using it. I don't like the depths. Creepy places. We're gonna rest. Scrap iron. Taco sugar. This stuff is gold for me. She is beauty. She is grace. Yeah, this is the thing. Yeah, pacifying agent. Gravekeepers, executioners, the moment mob, all who keep death close, keep this powder closer. Um, basically, it's Xanax. It's ancient Japanese Xanax, and it keeps you from dying. Make of that what you will. Ah, there's fish in here, and they will screw you up. Ah ha ha, no! I should do a review of Sekiro as just a elaborate metaphor for mental health. So here's a sweet elevator that you can find. And it will take you to one of my favorite places. Look how stoic we are. And flinching. Ah. You. Yes, you. Yep. I'm like a spooky child shouting at you from middle of nowhere. Grab our idol. We're really just grabbing a lot of idols right now so that uh, <laughs> so that we can teleport around more easily. Um, Please, 
Anyway, so that's just the spirit of, uh, of a bodhisattva apparently talking to us. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's the divine child, but... Thanks, spooky child boys. I always thought the phrase the least we could do was such an odd one. Like it literally means like I could I couldn't do less. Couldn't you do a little bit more? So if you didn't pick up on it from the spooky ghost child, we're now at Sempo Temple. Um, one of my favorite locations because it's real pretty. And the first thing you meet, if you turn around to the opposite direction, is a crying giant. Down here is some weird stuff. We're going to go over all of this, but let's talk to our crying giant friend first. <laughs> they left me here. Where did everyone go? Why did you leave Kotaro behind? Now what do I do? Why are you crying? Everyone's gone. I'm all alone. Who's everyone? Everyone? Huh? Who? Uh, um, <coughs> the spinning, spinning red and white flowers. Only one pure white flower. The pure white flower. I cannot find. What? My head hurts. Sorry. I have no idea what I'm saying. I just... I've got to find the pure white flower. So, this is one of our Taro troop buddies. Um, and this is actually our first indication of sort of where they come from. Um, we've seen them down in uh, Ashina Castle as defenders. They're basically contracted out from up here. This is Kotaro. He's also a person we could send to the terrifying doctor below, and we will not, because he is my special baby boy and I love him. Can I make that jump? Wah! Sure can. Rocket man. Um. Cool, 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 cool. So down there is a kite mechanism, and we need a we need that kite for a later thing. And <coughs> we're not gonna do it right now. We'll do it in a little bit. But apparently, I have a dog who needs to go out. So if you'll excuse me, I will head back to our idol. And then we will take the dog out. And then we'll go exploring some stuff. One moment. <laughs> 